This is a PS4 Pro that I recently disassembled to replace the stock thermal paste inside this machine. So as you can see this thermal paste is all dried up and I don't think this was doing a decent job of transferring all the heat from the APU to this heatsink. In this video I am going to replace this stock cheap thermal paste that Sony has used between the cooler and the APU for the efficient heat transfer but unfortunately it was doing nothing so I disassembled my console and just used some isopropyl alcohol for cleaning the stock paste and in this video I am going to apply liquid metal and I am going to walk you through the entire procedure of how you should be doing it. So applying liquid metal is actually not all that difficult or dangerous because I've seen a lot of people think that liquid metal is going to destroy your components. Yeah sure it can destroy but if you're going to use it carefully then you can get all the benefits out of it and you are also not going to destroy any components or no damage is going to come your way. So the most important thing before applying liquid metal is you need to cover all the components around the die. In this case of PS4 Pro, you can see there are very small SMD components around the APU which you need to cover properly before you apply liquid metal. So as you can see I am using some electrical tape because the height of the APU is actually decent enough and even if I apply this thick tape around the die, the die is not going to get overlapped with this thick electrical tape. So it is not a problem but in some cases using thick tape can be an issue but in this case it is just fine so make sure you understand this now as you can see the dye is nice and clean I just used some isopropyl alcohol to clean the dye using some paper towels and right now I am just covering the heat sink with some very basic uh, uh, cello tape and then you just need to give it a final wipe so that the surface is nice and clean and just tap once or twice using the a syringe of liquid metal and just simply spread it using any cotton swab. You don't need anything special here. In the Thermal Grizzlies packet there were only two cotton swabs and that were of no use after 2-3 times. So I started using these conventional earbuds. So this is how you spread liquid metal. It, it is actually that simple. You just need to make sure that the surface on which you are applying liquid metal is nice and clean and that is the most you need. Just put some liquid metal and start spreading it. If you feel that liquid metal is a little less at that point you can add a little more but I would suggest you to not use a lot of liquid metal because the more you use the more of a barrier you are creating between the IHS and the dye itself. So you just need to be a little conservative when using liquid metal and this is how it should look like once you have spread it over both the surfaces. So applying liquid metal is not all that difficult and I have personally used liquid metal on a lot of my PC components and I decided to use it on this PS4 Pro and this PS4 Pro has been running pretty good for the last two years after I applied liquid metal. So you can be really assured about using liquid metal if you use it in a proper way. If you are not sure about what you are doing then I don't think you should attempt this but if you are someone who has been doing all this for a little bit time then I think this is not something very difficult. So this is a little video that I wanted to do on how you can use liquid metal on your stuff. It is actually not all that difficult. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new here and I will talk to you in the next video.